Welcome back to the Vans US Open of Surfing. And we have out in the water, Sally Fitzgibbons, our 2011 champ here at Huntington Beach, versus the goofy foot out of Australia, Grace on Australia, Bronte McCauley. Turn the, <laughs> on land a lot more. There's a replay of Sally nice Fitzgibbons. Yeah, she gets up, quick snap right there, just a setup, and then tries to get it again. Look a little off timing there. Excited to get back and get get on the road with you guys. Yeah, how's, here we go out in the back right now. We got some surfing happening. Uh, that was Sally Fitzgibbons. I was just going to ask you about, you know, not being able to surf. Tell us. I mean, I've been there. Kaipo's been there. What happens mentally? Where do you go? What do you do? Aggression that we're seeing from the ladies, like you said, is really, really good. Sally Fitzgibbons is an example of that progression. Quick to the lip two times, and that was crispy Strider. So that was much better than her last attempt, and the timing was there, right? She actually met the lip with the board and came out of it with speed, and there was no rail getting involved where it was getting caught by the water or the edges. It was all nice and clean. It looks so clean. Like, the board is super loose and fast, and I, I love how she's surfing. She's making it happen. Look at that. First turn, boom! Heading forward. Another one throwing the tail a little bit. Kind of like manly kind of surfing. Choo! Another one. Boop, boop. Perfect. Look at that. Feeling it. You saw that was a little uh, no claim claim, yeah? No claim claim. I like that. Surfing is an emotional activity as we see Sally. Those vert there, but that's all that she's going to get out of that wave. 4 3 three's her her low score. And uh, we'll see what that number comes through, but before that number pops up, let's hear from Sage Erickson. Throughout these years, and um, has made me feel so confident. And the last two weeks, I felt really strong in my ability and in my surfing again. And so, you know, Keanu was a really a big inspiration. That you know, he lost every heat, but he won an event. And um, I'm not saying I'm going to do that, but I'm saying I'm going to fight that hard for it. The left towards the pier. There's a couple more. There's maybe a couple turns. Let's see if Sally gets. Nope. Well, she tried to go left. Yeah, I mean, she was going the right direction. A little chop, so I, I guess she will be looking on the right. She'll do a couple turns on the right, try to get that eight or even get a little closer while um, Sally's still going left, yeah. working her backhand. Well, there went Sally, and you know what? As we're waiting for that score in the replay, let's check in with Folky on the beach. He's probably got some insight for us. Folky. Yes, I would love. Um, yeah, I think the ladies like Sally, Lakey, like they're very exciting to watch, especially in the air. And I think they got what it takes. So um, I would love to see them going to the air, especially in the U.S. Open. That's what everybody wants to watch. So bring it on. We're ready. F ready for the action. We're down to the last five minutes of the heat. Yeah, that brings up a question uh, for me there, Kyle. You're in a heat. Oh, look at this way. Up, up and out. Okay, Bronte. How's going crazy? Does that play into your mental game out there? No, I think it feels even like... Everybody that makes you the last day, like everybody's excited. Everybody loves the people screaming and uh, excited to watch you surf. So I was talking about Kyle's runner-up finish at 2017 Bell's Beach, which was an inspired performance. I mean, you came into that event, Kyle, you know, really not, I would say, one of the favorites. And you just took down surfers after surfers after surfers. Now, Bronte needs an 8.51 if she wants to move on into round three, and it is getting desperate times. One minute and 16 seconds. Sally Fitzgibbons up and riding and continues just to find wow. little gems out there, and just with a quickness, yeah. with the board and the body. Uh, with, uh, you know, 65 seconds left on the clock, I'm throwing this thing into the fridge. <laughs> this seat is over. Sally is just on a roll, catching these little nuggets, banging away at the lip. She's probably going to improve again. Just looking really solid, really confident, and running game out there right now. Thank you, Strider. We'll be back later this afternoon. And we will be taking a small break. But when we come back, Joe Trapel will be with us, along with Rosie Hodge. And it's going to be a very important heat for Lakey.